Let the Lord say so. Whom the Lord has redeemed. Hallelujah. You're free today. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We come today. Amen. I didn't put my clothes on just to come in here and sit down on my seat. Amen. Because I could have did that in my living room. Amen. I could have did that in my bedroom. But I put on my clothes in spite of all the odds. In spite of all the things that was coming against me. Amen. To try to make me think that I'm doing wrong. But I said, Lord, I'll go if I have to go by myself. Hallelujah. And I give him praise today. I give him glory. I give him honor today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, amen. We're just going to do a few house rules, amen, before we begin our worship, amen. Yes, we're practicing, amen, amen, social distancing. Amen is what we're doing. Amen. We pray. Amen. It don't look like we're going to have a problem today. Amen. Only three to a pew. Amen. I don't think we're going to have a problem today. Amen. We're getting ready to go live and amen shortly. Amen. And I want the people around the world, amen, that will see us to know. Amen. Yes, we're here in the sanctuary. Amen. But we are observing what the law laws are telling us to do. The social distancing is what we're doing. Amen. So that's the reason why Pastor did the, amen, the cheers like this, amen, our praise team, amen, they're doing that, amen, so, amen, when we do go live, amen, they are knowing, they understand, we can still praise God. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. We can still come into the house and give God some praise. Hallelujah. That's it right there. Whether two or three gather together, he said he would be in our midst. Ah, and I just thank him and I, we're just ushering in the presence of God today. Hallelujah. Our praise team, amen, they're getting ready to come to us. Hallelujah. Amen. It won't be a long service. Amen, amen. But we're going to come for the moments, the time that we are here. We're going to uplift our hands. We're going to magnify him. We're going to let him know that he deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's get ready to enter into the presence of the Lord. I know that the Lord is 
has something to give to us today. We're living in a very critical time. The hour in which we live are very crucial. You have so much that is going on right now. People are struggling for their life. They're hanging on to life support. That's right, that's right. You have some that, amen, don't know what to do. That's right. You know, we are at a panic right now. But I'm so glad what the Lord said in his word unto us. Peace, Jesus said, I give unto you. And that peace is not of this world. That peace that he talked about surpasses all understanding. That means in the midst of chaos, you still have a peace of mind. Amen? Amen. So we're just blessed today that the Lord is keeping us. And we're asking each and every one of you to please pray. Pray for our civic leaders. Pray for our government. Pray for our neighborhoods. Pray for your community. Pray for your churches. Amen? Pray for your pastors. We need prayer in this time. If there ever was a time to pray, now is that time. It is praying time. You know, God speaks sometimes sometime in different ways. And certainly, I can tell you, he's speaking to us right now. So if we would just listen to what the Lord is saying and follow his voice and do as he says do, we're going to make it through this. Somebody say, we're going to make it through it. We're going to make it through this. Amen? We're going to make it. Amen. This is not our, this is not our final destiny. But greater things are yet to come. Amen. We may be hindered, but the move of God would never be stopped. Amen. So we're just thanking God today that the word said in Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. By it, the elders obtained a good report. And so we're glad today that our report is that he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of his peace was upon us. Amen. So we're thanking God today that he still has a balm in Gilead today. So we're expressing our thanksgiving to our father today. For he's still Lord over all this situation. Somebody shout amen. 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 We're getting ready for the choir to come back to us. Did we not enjoy them earlier? Yes, sir. Amen. I tell you, they are just anointed to sing unto the glory of God. And we're so appreciative of them being with us on today. After the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ Choir has sang the song, we're going to receive our own pastor, the senior pastor of the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ, and the person none of other than Pastor Dennis J. Rogers, Sr. Come on, saints of God. Put your hands together for the Greater New Bible Way Choir.
Brown. Is that the sentiments of your heart today? How many of you really long to be where the Savior, amen, is where the Father is, amen? Hallelujah, in spite of it all, in spite of it all, somebody say, I still have joy. In spite of what's going on around the world, I still have love. I still have peace. Ah, because I know who holds tomorrow. We're standing all over the building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's word time. It's word time. It's word time. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. The Spirit of the Lord is in the house right now. I feel the presence of God right now. And oh, what a wonderful feeling it is to know whatever you have going on at your home, on your job, to know that the Lord is right there. Isn't that consolation? Isn't that joy? Doesn't that fear your spirit, man, with the peace that passes all understanding? Some might question why, why, why are you at church? Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And I'm just releasing my faith, that's all. I'm not crazy. I haven't lost my mind. Amen. I'm practicing all those things that they have instructed for me to do. Amen. But I just believe that I have to be where the presence. I said, where the presence of the Lord is. And I'm so glad that I feel the free. I feel free today to praise him, to magnify him, to lift up my hands, to clap my hands, to listening and looking and watching, amen, with us for the first time to hear you in for a treat. Amen. I say you're in for a treat today. For he is anointed. Amen. He is certainly ordained by God to preach the gospel. And I'm so glad, amen, that he, amen, and his wife came to be with us, amen, some months ago now. Amen. And it seemed like they've been with us ever since the beginning of time. Is that, did anybody else agree with me today? Seems like they've just been with us, the Bible Way family, down through the years. Amen. That's just the type of spirit that, that they both have. Amen. And we're so excited, amen, to, amen, to hear from him on today. I'm seated on my seat of expectation. Because I believe the Lord is getting ready to minister to me. Somebody put your hand on yourself and say to me, I need a word today. See this man of God, amen, the elder Frank Vanderbilt. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. We give honor to God who is the head of our life. Amen. We magnify him because he's God. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. All right. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but it's Christ that lives in me. Yes. And the life that I now live in the flesh, mm -hmm. I live by the faith of God who loved me and gave his life for me. Oh, yes. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We thank God for being here today. Amen. Yes. Amen. I Thank God for my pastor, amen, we, amen, and uh, First Lady, amen, to Elder White, amen, and all the ministers, amen, the mothers, amen, the evangelists, amen, all the people of God, amen, amen. I greet you in the name of Jesus, amen. Jesus is the answer for the world today, hallelujah, amen, no matter what's going on, amen, Jesus is is the answer. Amen. amen, amen. And why I give my amen, my little amen uh, uh, introductions, amen, you would turn your Bibles, amen, to two familiar passages of Scripture, amen, uh, Luke uh, 18, amen, and then uh, Second Chronicles 7, amen, and a few verses there, amen, amen. I want to allow the Holy Ghost, amen, to 
to have his way. Right. Amen. Amen. And I thank God, amen, for the word of God. I thank God for technology. Amen. 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 Because, amen, what the devil meant for evil, yeah. God would turn it around for the good. Yes, amen. Yes. You may see me with my phone, but I always have my Bible. In case this phone go out, right. the word always works. Isn't that right? Amen, amen, and we thank God, amen, for the word of God. Yes, sir. Amen, amen, I just want to, amen, just do what God has called me to do. Yes, amen, sir. many times, you know, uh, a lot of people don't understand when, 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 when preachers make their notes, amen, we don't say half of what's on our notes. Yes, because we allow the Holy Ghost yes, to take over. Your notes, amen, to other lay members, to other ministers. Your notes, amen, is when the enemy comes in to try to take your thought. Yeah. Amen. And your notes is that man, that's what they're really, really for. Amen. It's to bring you back in. But when you allow the Holy Ghost to take control, see the Holy Ghost know what we need in this room. Amen. amen. And those of you who are, who are out there in social media, amen. I want your unabided attention. Right. Amen. Amen. Because today God has a word for this world. Not just for the church. Yes, amen. Amen. Jesus said, Amen, that the Amen, that judgment will begin in the house of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So why would God judge the world? Amen. Amen. When there's sin, even in the church. Uh, now come on, somebody ought to say amen. 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 Tell the truth and shame the devil. Amen. Amen. Because I come to preach today, y'all. Hallelujah. I come to give you the word of God. Amen. Amen. I've been doing this too long. Amen. And I ain't got time, amen, to tickle you. Amen. Amen. Because people are dying. Amen. People are going to hell right out of church. Amen. And the word of God needs to be preached. Amen. To the people of God. Amen. And that's why we need to pray for holy boldness. Hallelujah. Amen. Because, amen, pe people are dying. Amen. They, amen. They're, they're, men, they are going to hell right out of church, and it shouldn't be. Right. Amen. And God has given us, amen, two powerful weapons to defeat the enemy. Right. Amen. And the weapons have been given to the church. Yeah. Amen. But the church, hallelujah, have got sidetracked. Amen, amen, man, man, if I knew, amen, we had a screen right here, I can see if you was giving me a close-up, amen, because I'm talking, amen, to the world, amen, as well as to the church, amen, amen, so many people, amen, in the world say they don't want to go to church anymore, amen, 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 because, amen, the people in the church ain't no good, well, I got something for you, amen, world, amen, amen, you, they, they ain't no good in a nightclub, right. and you still going. All right. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. You're not going to get any help in a nightclub, right. but you will get some help in the church. Yes. Amen. Because all of us yes. are still tore up from the floor. Right. Amen. But because we in the church of God, we try to go up. Hey. Amen. And so I thank God, amen, for the word. I see I'm already off my notes already. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So amen. In the word of God. Yeah. Amen. In Luke 18, glory to God. Very familiar passage of scripture. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. We see here in Luke 18, Jesus gives a parable, amen, to his disciples. Yes. Amen. And Jesus wanted to let them know, amen, in the first verse of that 18th chapter. It said, then Jesus, amen, told his disciples a parable to show them that they should, what? Always pray and not to give up. Amen. Amen. And see, that's the problem today. Amen. Even in the church of God, amen, we, amen, if we pray, Amen. And, and it takes too long for our prayers to be answered. Amen. We feel like throwing in the towel. Amen. But I come to tell you today, glory to God. I come to let you know today, amen, the only weapons, amen, on this earth that are powerful enough to penetrate into the spirit, to break down the enemy territories, to 
bind the powers of the enemy and to destroy Satan's strongholds yes, are two mighty weapons of prayer and fasting. Did y'all hear me today? Yes, Amen. Mark 9 and 29 and Matthew 17 and 21 said these kind come out only through fasting and prayer. Yes, these are the organized demonic forces. Yes, Listen to the word of God. Spiritual powers and rulers of darkness. Spiritual of violence, confusion, greed, hallelujah, hatred and murder. Yes. Rebellion and fear. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's what the devil, amen, has magnified today through this violence. Yes. Amen. He has caused fear, amen, to come upon the church. Yes, amen. In Timothy, in 2 Timothy, hallelujah, 1 and 7 said, God has not given us yes, the spirit of fear, yes. but of love and power and a sound mind. Yes. Hallelujah. The devil wants us to have hatred and, and murder and fear in our heart. Lust and perversion. Hallelujah. And these spirits are hovering over our cities, our communities, and our nation. They are everywhere. They're on the street. They're in our workplace. They're everywhere. Hallelujah. These demonic forces, their objective, listen to the people, listen people of God. Their objective is to tear down and destroy all that is holy, yes. all that is pure, yes. all morality and all sense of decency. These demonic spirits, their objective is to tear down government. Listen, y'all. Pervert justice and establish atheism. Moral leaders. Listen at that. Their objective is to destroy democracy and establish communism as a ruling political force on earth. Their objective, these demonic spirit objective is to discredit Christian leaders to weaken their godly influence in our cities and countries and silence their voices. These demonic spirits objective is to divide the body of Christ. To bring division and strife within the church. Yes, sir. To get the church sidetracked from its purpose of winning souls into the kingdom of God. My God. These demonic spirits, their objective is to destroy families. Turn husbands and wives against one another. To sow seeds of rebellion in the hearts of our children. To cause them to feel rejected, mistrust. Bitter and resent. Yes. The demonic spirit's objective is to destroy all Christians. Listen at this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Their objective is to destroy all Christians. Yes, sir. To steal our joy. Yes. Hallelujah. To destroy our confidence in God. Yes. To tempt us to turn our back on God and sin against Him. Glory to God. But God, hallelujah, has sent a word to us today. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, will forgive their sins and heal the land. But the 15th verse of that same chapter in 2 Chronicles 7, the 15th verse said, God said, my eyes and my ears are open to the prayers that is prayed in this place. Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. These demonic forces, their objective is to stop you from growing up into the full statues of Jesus. To stop you from praying. To hinder you from applying the word of God to your life. To stop you from doing the will of God. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. If only you would use your weapon of prayer and fasting. More prayer. Yes, more power. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, if you want power over the enemy. Pray my brother. Yeah. Pray my sister. Yeah. Don't let the devil 
tell you, amen, that you don't need to pray all the time. My favorite, amen, evangelist, Pastor White, amen, is Smith Wigglesworth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A man that was full of the power of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A man didn't have to lay hands all the time on folks. Yes, Smith Wigglesworth, amen, would just speak the word. Yes. Because he was so full of the spirit of God. Jesus. Amen, things happen. Yes. The manifestation of God's power, amen, followed the man. Yes. Hallelujah. And that's all we have to do, amen, is make sure that we know what prayer can do. I don't know about you. Amen. You're looking at a miracle here. Hallelujah. Amen. What the devil meant for evil in my life. God turned it around for the good. Amen. These evil demonic spirits. Amen. These evil spirits, these powers of principalities Jesus. have established strongholds in our cities, y'all. Yes, in our communities, in our nation. Yes. That no atomic bomb, listen, y'all, hallelujah, no nuclear bomb, no kernel bomb, hallelujah, any nation try to use won't work. All right. All right. Glory to God. The only power strong enough to penetrate the evil forces and pull down those strongholds in our nation and on earth are the prayers of God's people. Yes, Glory to God. Isaiah 86, uh, uh, 58 and 6 says, Is this not the fast that I have ordained? Glory to God. To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free. And that what you shall break every yoke. Praise the praise God. Amen. And and, and, and I just want y'all to amen to listen. Just to just to tag this, amen. Yes, when Christians, I listen, y'all, yes, when Christians unite together in prayer. Yes, yes. Amen. Now listen now. A lot of Christians are united. But they're not uniting in prayer. Right. Amen. Give a church picnic. Right. Get everybody come out. Come on now. Tell them you're going to have a free food after church. Everybody come out. Amen. I was looking in this area. Amen. And that area wasn't, wasn't too full. But when I got to the got to the fellowship hall, the fellow hall was full. They know what time to come when it's time to eat. They know how to, to unite together when it's time to eat. Amen. That when Christians unite together in prayer. Amen. Amen. Think just for a moment, y'all, about the stronghold Satan has built in your life, in your home, in your community, and in this nation. Many Christians are facing situations and problems that are causing them to be confused and afraid. Hallelujah. They don't even know how to pray concerning them. Many have been attacked physically and mentally. Do y'all hear that? Amen. Don't you know, amen, the devil don't, don't have anything new? Do you know why he don't have anything new? Because what he used work. See, it may not work today on Pastor White. And so he just jump over, amen, to Pastor Rock. But he'll come back two weeks later again to Pastor White. Come on now. Amen. That's why he don't change because it works. Amen. But guess what? Prayer will work. Prayer will also work on him. He know that. That's why he's fighting you so hard. For when you get up in the morning, your early morning prayer, the devil want to make you not feel good. Well, I don't think I'm going to get up this morning. Amen. And the devil will try and miss me. Oh, just leave. You know you're tired. Uh -huh. Go and see. But he know what prayer can do. Yeah. Amen. That's why he don't want you to pray, mother. He don't want y'all to pray. Yeah. Amen. He said, oh, you can pray anytime. And yeah. the devil is right. Yeah. But you better pray when God tells you to pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Many of us have been attacked physically and mentally. Their strength seemed to be gone. Discouragement and doubt, listen, y'all, is sitting in. Still others have, listen, y'all, still others have been seeking God for direction. 
to hear God's voice, to know his will concerning important decision making. Remember I told you some time back, amen, that over in December, amen, God showed me, amen, that this year, hallelujah, will be a year that Christians have to make an important decision. My God. This is one of them. Yes, sir. Look around you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Look around you. Amen. Amen. And the thing about it, amen, that I, that, that I told my wife along with that, I can't tell you all of it, but along with that, I told her, I said, this year, the early part of this year, Something drastic is going to happen. What's going on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? I can't tell you what's coming. Jesus. But God is calling his people, amen, to turn from your wicked way. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what God is telling us, y'all. He said, many of you have done everything you know to do. You have wept. You have pleaded. You have cried out to God. Hey. Yet, it seems that we, heaven has shut down. Just like what's happening in the world today. We feel that way. Hallelujah. Amen. That somehow your prayers aren't getting through. But listen what David said. Hallelujah. I love what David said. David said, amen, in Psalms 31. Psalms 13, brother. Amen. And verse 1, he said, Lord, how long? How long, God? Will you, hallelujah, hide your face from me? You ever feel like that when you're in prayer? If God is listening, do you hear what I'm saying, Lord? Do you hear what I'm saying to you, Lord? Amen. But he would say, amen, in, probably, you know, in Psalms 34, very familiar passage, passage of Scripture. Amen. Psalms 34, glory to God. Psalms 34 and verse 15. Yeah. That's in verse 15. Glory to God. He said, the eyes of the Lord, listen y'all, is upon the righteous. Yeah. And his ears are open unto their cries. Yeah. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Yeah. Verse 17. The righteous cry. Listen at that y'all. Yeah. And the Lord heareth them and delivered them out of all of their troubles. Yeah. The Lord is now to them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Hallelujah. Yes. But the Lord deliver us out of them all. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh. Jesus, amen, is calling us to repentance. We must repent. Amen. Amen. John 1 and 9 say if you repent and be converted, your sins will be blotted out. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Repentance, amen, through prayer and fasting must come before restoration. Yes. Yes. Did y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It must come before restoration. Right. Prayer and fasting, listen what it does. It opens the way to forgiveness. To blessings and restoration. If you are going to claim the promise of the blessings of God for your restoration. And I'll pour in Pastor White of his Holy Spirit. We will first be fulfilled in the conditions what God has set before us. Amen. And the conditions comes, amen, in first, amen, second, amen, uh, uh, Chronicles 7. Yes, sir. Amen. These are the conditions. We quoted it there. If my people, listen at this, who are called by my name, listen to the words, will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked words, there must first be a brokenness, a humbling, a breaking of our spiritual pride and self-righteousness through fasting and prayer. Many Christians today are still looking at the surface. The outward manifestation of God's power God. is an indication of a sign of great outpouring God had promised. Right. But I have well, let me let me let, let me just tell you something. Right. Hallelujah. The real sign would be when across this nation of the earth, the people of God will begin to fall on our face before God. Right. Repent. Yes, sir. Confess our sins before God and one another. Yeah. 
and begin to turn from our sins that we have allowed to come into the church. Yes, sir. Yeah. Another major indication of this great outpouring of the Holy Spirit would be a major move of the Christians of all denominations toward unity in the Spirit. When you begin to, hallelujah, see God or seek God or come together as one, amen, all of the leaders in every denomination will see an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Job 2 and Job uh, uh, 21 and Job 2 and verse 17 said, amen. And after God's people begin to fast and pray, listen, y'all, right. then God will hear and will be jealous for the land right. and pity his people. After God's people have begun to weep, to mourn and repent, will come a time of great rejoicing, for the Lord will do great things. After God's people begin to fast and pray and repent, then will the heavens open up, and God will pour out the former and latter rain. Glory to God. The Holy Spirit will be poured out upon all flesh. Glory to God. After God's people have humbled themselves through time of fasting and prayer, yes. then will come the promised restoration. Yes. God will restore all things that Satan had stole from us. Yes. Then will come an abundance. Yes. Then God's people will be satisfied. Yes. What are the circumstances you are facing right now? What are the situations in your My life God. in which you must hear from God in which you must uh, just don't know what to do even how to pray don't use your carnal weapon don't get your 45 and your wind when your switch blade hallelujah but pick up your weapon of fasting and prayer glory to God fasting and prayers are the mightiest weapon God has given you hallelujah those weapons, listen y'all, are 100% effective 100% of the time. Yes, Do y'all hear that? Yes. Amen. Do you know what prayer can do? Yes. Can't nobody tell it like you can. Yes. Don't nobody know like you know yes. what God has done for you. Yes. That's why we need to rise up Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services.